Barrett Walk Alpha. Grin and Barrett. Hello, I'm Bopo, I said. Ferret is a talking dog, and we were smiling. Meg and Shannon walked up to Ferret, and she was smiling. Shannon Destiny and Destiny Shannon were sisters, and Meg and Shannon's cousin. Ferret turned to Meg and Shannon and smiled. Meg and Shannon smiled and waved to Ferret. Larry and Milo were overhead on their rocket bikes, and we could hear a whoosh. They seemed to vanish like a cloud. Then my phone rang. It was Sabrina. Buffo, buffo, buffo. I answered the phone. My smile vanished. She wanted me to remember the shopping list. I was pretending I was a spy and I had to sneak to the, snor the store and meet somebody that would sell me eggs, cheese, and butter. Ferret, I have a secret mission, I told him. Might be a better secret if you didn't tell people, Ferret said. Since I'm going to spy shop, I thought we'd pick up a stuffed animal for Sabrina. Oh, grin and Barrett, said Shannon Destiny. Mep, mep, mep. I grinned. How am I going to keep smiling, I asked. I pulled wax lips from my pocket, and I had a wax lip smile. A lot can happen. Next, Buffo gets a time warp, said Ferret. Ferret Walk Alpha. Make up your mind. Hello, I'm Bofo, I said. Ferret and I were at a truck stop sipping coffee when we heard Kim talking to a waitress. Kim owned the truck stop. She came over and asked what we wanted to have for breakfast. I told her I just wanted coffee. Ferret wanted toast and jam. Just then, Destiny Shannon walked in, and Kim was yelling, telling Ferret what kind of jam she had. Kim went to the back and got a tray. Grape? asked Kim. There were dozens of jars on the tray. Grape is nice, said Ferret. Then Kim continued. Strawberry? Raspberry? Marmalade? Molasses? Cherry? asked Kim. She kept listing the jars. Larry and Milo were there. Mary Bet came over to them, and she took their order. They wanted omelets. I sipped my coffee. Kim was telling Ferret about the jars and the jams, and how they were farmed and cooked into jam. Shannon Destiny met Destiny Shannon, and they started humming a song from the coffee shop. Mary Bat was a good little bat. Mary Bat was a good little bat. Well, Ferret, tough choices. Have you decided? asked Kim. Grape is nice. Very good, she said. Then my phone rang. Buffo, buffo, buffo. I picked up the phone. It was the wife, Sabrina. She asked me, why was there a box of clown makeup in the bathroom? I told her I really didn't think she would mind. I guess I just made up my mind, said Ferret. Huh, <sighs> a lot can happen, I told him. Next, Ferret gets a snoo.
Barrett Walk Alpa. Rest assured. There I was, bofo, bofo, bofo. Ferret and I were riding in our semi with triangle trucking on the door. Then it got late and we had to stop for the night. We found a motel and we went into the lobby. We were greeted by two ladies behind the desk. They had name tags. I read them. They were Shannon and Destiny. I asked if they were related to Shannon Destiny and Destiny Shannon. They explained that they were their mothers. Okay, let me see if I understand. I started. Destiny Shannon and Shannon Destiny are twins from different mothers. That's why they don't look alike. Runs in the family, Destiny told me. Shannon and I are twins, too. Who are your mothers, Ferret asked. Megan, said Shannon. Megan from Costumey Day on Planet Mep, Ferret asked. The same, added Destiny. Megan must be quite a lady, I said. Then Destiny showed us a room. We got comfortable on the two beds. Ferret pulled out a map and was looking at it. I pulled the paperwork for the load and sat on the table. We have to be there first thing in the morning. We are taking a load of rest assured to Planet Map. Then the phone rang. It was Megan Shannon. Map. A lot can happen, said Ferret. That's what I always say, I said. Next, Buffalo gets a new name, said Ferret. I'll just put it with the others. Barrett Walk Alpha. Name the movie. Hello, I'm Bofo. Ferret and I were asked if we wanted to see a movie. We were going to le meet Larry and Milo at the theater, but we were running late. The show already started, and we missed the title. We sat and watched the movie. In the movie we watched, there was a young lady and she was going to meet some friends for a movie. But she was running late, and she missed the credits. She joined her friends and sat to watch the movie. In the movie that was being watched by the movie we were watching, there was a band trying to figure a name for the band. They tossed names in a hat and pulled out paper that read, Television. So they turned on the television. On the television was a fundraiser for the charity of the month. It was a variety show. They had music and dancers. They also had a comedian. He was very funny. The movie was over, and I turned to Larry, and I told him I didn't get the movie. Ferret said the movie was good, but they skipped all the ferret scenes. He was there. Then there was a ferret reenactment. Ferret took a pen and paper and took my hat. Then he put the paper in the hat, and I pulled out the paper. It read, Buffo. There's your new name, Milo told me. I'll just put it with my others, I said. Does anyone know the name of the movie? Name the movie, said Larry. What a clever title, said Ferret. I don't get it, I mumbled. Then my phone rang. Buffo, Buffo, Buffo. That was my phone's ringtone. Till next time, said Ferret, Buffo picks a winner. He got the house right here, I said. Horse, corrected Milo. A lot can happen, I told them. Ferret Walk Alpha Costume Day on Planet Map There we were on Planet Map. It was costumey day 
and Ferret and I fell out of place. He was a Pomeranian, and I was a truck driver with a wily burp hat. We were standing out from the crowd, dressed like superheroes. Destiny Shannon met us and asked if we were going to Ferret Fest. Ferret said this was his kind of place. There were balloons and pictures of a beagle on them, with eye holes, eye holes so they could see. We could see there were beagle balloons floating. Shannon Destiny told us it was good to see us and complimented my truck driver costume. Megan Shannon was wearing a paper bag with a beagle on it, and she was pretending that I couldn't recognize her. I saw her blue superhero costume before at a coffee shop. Ferret asked me, What about the clown makeup you and Sabrina were talking about? That's not really a costume. It's for my other life, I told him. Then I thought about it, and then I called Sabrina and asked her to bring the clown makeup. She said she would be right over. After a minute, Sabrina came with the makeup and a toolbox with a clown picture on it. Shannon and Destiny were there, and I asked them to watch the box for me. Larry and Milo were there, and they told me Megan was there. I had to meet her, so I grabbed Sabrina and Ferret and headed over to introduce myself, and there she was. She looked like an Olympic gymnast. I told her that I loved her costume. She told me that these were her street clothes, and, I, and she was glad to meet me in Ferret. She heard some rumors, and that it looks like they're true. Then they were judging costumes, and Cleveland came as Iowa and won third place. They gave me and him a map map. Ferret came in second place, and they gave him a keychain. It had the word home on it. Now Ferret has a place for his invisible truck keys. Ferret was sitting there in first place was given to me in my truck driver costume. I am a bofo. They gave me a case of clown makeup just like mine. I was going to put it with the others, but we couldn't find it. It's the same case, Bofo, said Ferret. Yep, just like mine, I said. Bofo, 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 said Sabrina. Then she jumped in a Bofo box, and she brought with her the costume box, and she slammed the lid. Mep, said Megan Shannon. Mep, said Destiny Shannon. Mep, said Shannon Destiny. Next, why bother, Ferret told them. I wonder if I'm even in the next one, I said. A lot can happen. Barrett Walk Alpha Girls Night Out Hello, I'm Bofo. My wife Sabrina told me she was going out with the girls tonight and I said that Ferret and I would find something to do. I called Ferret and he asked, why not go for a ferret walk? Well, that's what we did. Ferret asked Sabrina who she was going out with and I told him it was Megan from Planet Map and the Megans. Destiny Shannon, Shannon Destiny, Megan Shannon, Destiny, Shannon, and also Mary Bat. Came from the trucks that would probably be there too. Well, why not call Milo, Larry, and Cleveland? So Ferret called them and they were busy. We were going to get some coffee, but Mary Bat at the truck stop, the hostess, is with Sabrina and Kim from the truck stop. Kim always served us. We sure do appreciate our restaurant servers. Then I had an idea. 
why not return the favor and become waiters and show them we appreciate them? Or we could pretend and do some spying, Ferret accused me. I really mean this. Finding out what they're up to would be bad for my karma. But becoming a waiter would be good for my karma. I smiled. So we went for a ferret walk. We passed the coffee shop where Mary Beth served coffee. Then we passed the truck stop where we met Kim. Then we went to the movie theater and Destiny Shannon's car was parked out front. Well, they don't have any waiters in movies. They do have refreshment servers. So they went to see Name the Movie. Ferret and I went to volunteer at the soda fountain. The Megans weren't there. However, serving soda was a nice idea and it was good for my karma. Why was Destiny Shannon's toy car there? Ferret and I went to the coffee shop and we were ready to become servers since Mary Bat was, well, she was good to us. Then we heard a noise in the kitchen. It was Mary Bat. She came out and greeted us. We told her how we were here to serve. So we were there to serve because they were serving us. She told us all we really needed to do was say thank you. And then she told us that Destiny Shannon managed to lock her keys in her toy car at the theater. Would you do me a small favor? I asked Mary Bat. I kind of miss Sabrina. Could you say hello and buffo, buffo, buffo? Ferret said he would say it. Buffo, buffo, buffo. Thanks, I said. It's not the same. Next, buffo gets a highbrow, says Ferret. Sure, just make stuff up, Ferret, I said. A lot can happen. Ferret Walk Alpha Highbrow Hello, I'm Bofo. Ferret and I were going to a book reading at the coffee shop. I like the coffee shop because you get to meet local artists. One day, there might be a movie about Kiss My Ferret. Ferret and I were running a bit late. He was having trouble deciding what kind of dog he wanted to pretend he was today. I told him it was casual and he could go as himself. When we got there, everyone was dressed like superheroes. Ferret looked at me and grimaced. I offered him a truck driver hat. He just shook his head. Sabrina was there and she asked me to sit in the hot seat where the writer was supposed to sit and read a book. Then she handed me a bag with a book and some name tags. I looked through the name tags, Bofo, Coyote Kaboom, Runamuck, and Conundrum, Whatnot, Specimen, and Mark Stone. I put on the name tag that read Mark Stone. Mark Stone wrote a book, then he published it himself. There are 12 copies in print. That was another life, though. Kiss My Ferret by Ferret Manuscript. It was a hot day in the prison of unwanted poets. Words of love and inspiration trickled down the walls to remind them of the time they spent without the words landing on accepting lovers' ears. Each line was a day. Each verse was a week. Each poem was a month. Each collection was a year. The crime was that the feelings of love were never returned. Did they forget to mention where the feelings were from? I was just the messenger, and the feelings were from somebody close. All the anxiety could be resolved if someone would kiss my ferret. Sabrina sat next to Ferret and puckered. 
She gave him a peck on the cheek, and he smiled. I'm fine. It's a work of fiction, Ferret started. I'm really seeing the voodoo princess from the Mark Stone novel Destiny's Watch. Going on four years now. Sabrina was going through the name tags. They were all the same. She pulled out three name tags and set them on the table. Buffo, 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 she said. He looked at the name tags. They were all the same. Mary Bet was holding her hands behind her back and pretending to whistle uh, innocently. Amazing, I told Sabrina. We looked, and she was wearing the name tag that said Ophelia. I smiled. Next, Bofo goes on to charm school, says Ferret. A lot can happen, I said. Ferret Walk Alpha The Ferret in the Mirror Hello, I'm Bofo. Ferret was looking at his reflection in a mirror. I asked him what he was doing, and he told me he was confronting a ferret imposter. I told him it was just a reflection in a mirror. Ferret said he was just practicing for the next time he meets a ferret phony. The phone rang. It was Destiny Shannon. She called to apologize for pretending she was a ferret. She had this costume from Ferret Fest on Planet Map. Ferret turned his reflection and tells him he was lucky for him. He almost got smirted. I asked Ferret what a smirt was. Ferret shrugged his shoulders. Well, fine then. I'll ask Shannon Destiny. I called Shannon Destiny. She asked me to look up. Well the light fixture in the ceiling. She was sitting with Megan, Shannon, in the light fixture. I asked the light fixture on the ceiling. They said yes. Well, I asked what a smirt was, and she shrugged her shoulders. Then I asked Sabrina. I asked her what a smirt was, and she shrugged her shoulders. Shrugs. Well, I told her thanks. I'll just ask Milo. M-I-L-O. Ferret reached for his phone. Then for a second, he hung up the phone. Because Milo was in the room, we asked Milo what a smirt was, and he shrugged his shoulders. So I raised my shoulders and asked if I did it right, and they nodded. Oh, that's a word. Okay, so you shrug your shoulders. That's a smirk. Then if you nod, that's a word. A word, asked Shannon Megan. I nodded. So a nod's a word. A shrug's is a smirk. Buffo, buffo, buffo. Ferret looked over at the mirror. I knew it wasn't you, Ferret told the mirror. A lot can happen, I told the mirror. I wonder if anyone will mind I'm pretending I'm a mirror, Ferret asked. Shrugs. Ferret Walk Alpha taking over the world. There I was, talking to Ferret. What do you want to do, he asked. I was just thinking what a terrible shape the world is in. We could try to take over the world, I told him. Why not take over a nice world? Why take over a terrible world? Why not try to make the world better, then try to take it over, Ferret said. Why not take it over, then make it nicer, I asked. It might be easier to take over a terrible world. This world is okay. 
It's the only world with chocolate, the ferret told me. I'm not crazy about trying to take over a world that has no chocolate, I told him. We could bring chocolate with us. Then we can take over the world and make it better, Ferret commented. Then he went to the closet and found a small globe on a top shelf. He asked me if this world needed to be blue, and I said it did, so we could swap it for other blue worlds. They keep their trade-in value. How about this one? Ferret pointed to the globe. It's right here anyway. Done, I told Ferret. Done, said Ferret. That wasn't so hard. Now what do you want to do, I asked. I don't know. What do you want to do, he asked me. And of course Sabrina happened to hear the whole thing. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ferret Walk Alpha Cravings Ferret had a bar of soap and a plastic spoon. He was using the spoon to shave the soap. When I asked what he was doing, he told me he was making a battleship from a bar of soap. He traded in the plastic spoon for a metal one. I told him that sounded like a good idea, and I would like to see it when he was finished. Ferret put the soap and spoon down, then he found a box with a soap battleship in it. Ferret said he was going to make a small tugboat. I wondered why not make a battleship, then he would have two. Ferret said it was harder than it looks. Then he found a small box with a tugboat in it. Ferret said he was going to make a soap canoe. I looked for a small box with a canoe in it, I, and it didn't take him long to make a canoe. That was a nice carving. He misspelled carvings, Barrett told me. That's cravings. Like when you want some chocolate, I told him. Oh, he said. A lot can happen, I mumbled. Ferret Walk Alpha Bofo Interrupted Hello, I'm Bofo. I was talking with Ferret about something in today's Ferret Walk, and I was looking up Ferret Walk on the computer. Then my phone rang. It was Sabrina the wife. She wanted me to look something up for her. How do you spell turkey? Well, I looked it up and spelled it for her. Then I couldn't remember what I was talking to Ferret about, so I put on some music. I was trying not to get frustrated. I just started reading Ferret Walk again when the phone rang again. Sabrina has some work to do, and she wanted to know if I would do the laundry. So I started the laundry. I sat down, and I looked at my watch. I told Ferret... I was supposed to do something today, and Ferret was about to tell me again when the phone rang. Sabrina wanted to be sure I called the tax people so we could file our taxes. I hung up and called the tax people. Ferret caught her breath and said we were supposed to have an adventure for Ferret Walk Alpha. Hopefully something funny. We tossed some ideas around, and I had one. He was just about to tell me when Ferret saw the phone ring and there goes Sabrina again then my mind went blank she wanted me to do some housework so Ferret grabbed a duster and I took a broom and we were pirates on the high seas swabbing a deck for Captain Schmeckel then the phone rang and we forgot who we were so we were astronauts on the spaceship Cringe we needed computer upgrades 
Then the phone rang again and we forgot who we were, so we were prisoners for unpaid traffic fines. Then the phone rang again. It was Sabrina. She wondered what was happening on Ferret Walk Alpha. Ferret and I said, We have nothing. I guess we can try again tomorrow. Ferret nodded. Barrett Walk Alpha, Monarch of Gwynnum. Barrett and I were at the truck stop. Kim gave us some coffee, and Ferret was reading today's Ferret Walk Alpha. I guess it's just the beginning. Kim asked what happens to episodes of Ferret Walk Alpha when they're done. Well, this was something I knew the answer to. First, it comes from the dream plane where people that live in dreams whisper to people as they sleep. Then it goes to a giggle box where it waits for an audience. Then it flies into Ferret's computer being delivered by space truckers from Planet Mip. Once there, it waits for a vote from the Monarch of Gwenum, I told him. There's no such thing as a Monarch of Gwenum, Kim told me. I got my phone and made a call. She's not falling for it, I told him on the phone. Then the door that was behind her opened. Then La Larry and Milo came in. They were dressed in kings, robes, and crowns. She didn't fall for it, asked Larry. Told you so, said Milo. Almost had her, I told him. Never, Kim smiled. Buffo gets twelve of them, explained Ferret. Then he records them and puts them on a site so anyone can hear it. That's a bit much, I told Ferret. The monarch of Gwenham is easier to believe. Just then I reached for my phone and called Sabrina. She was busy, and I interrupted her. She was trading recipes with her mother. I hadn't heard from her all day, and I thought I would check on her. Buffo, 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 I said. A lot can happen, Ferret said. Well, now we have twelve episodes. We can go into the recording of them. And a lot can happen.